Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in so long, I'm like out of practice. Um, Lauren and I have come up to Newcastle for good here in my lipstick. I've had my mask on, so um, yeah, don't even ask. Lauren and I have come to Newcastle for the day. Uh, my eyebrows are going to be a bit of a before and after because they're slightly wild, um, but we're here, we're going to go to Blink. We're also going to do other things, but that's, that was the main thrust of coming because there's not travel restrictions at the moment within the UK but like going to London just to get my eyebrows done felt a bit excessive so we've settled for Newcastle um, but we are standing on this bridge and looking at this one which is I believe the Tyne Bridge and lots of people take pictures of it and stuff when they come to Newcastle so we thought we'd start off with you know a vaguely cultural thing before we basically just take you around the shops. We've just walked up a lot of steps. That doesn't look like a lot because you can't see them. Um, but we've come to the castle, so we're not going in. We're just here to pretend that we've done something vaguely cultural with part of the day. So yeah, here's Newcastle Castle. Ta-da! I said we came up loads of stairs. So once we came by the castle we came onto this little walkway um, which is another bridge and oh, it's so sunny I can't even see right see right down there that's where we were filming before when we were in front of the bridge so this is a view of it from up here and a very nice man like came over to us when we were filming down there I say we I was filming Lord was obviously not filming a very nice man stopped and like told us to come up here and said you'll get a better view of it from up here which we did but we were saying we really like the Newcastle accent it's a really like friendly sounding accent so yeah been in Newcastle for about half an hour spoken to a stranger um, seen a castle seen a bridge from two different views like feeling quite accomplished so far and I've done 4,000 steps it is just for 11 o'clock and we're gonna go for breakfast and this is where we're going so it's called creams and it's like a dessert parlour. I'm gonna be honest, when we were researching Newcastle, like we couldn't find that much. And like just walking about, there's more places, but because of the whole COVID situation, we wanted somewhere that we could like make a reservation and whatever. So that's where we're going. But we were just saying it's got, if you can see, it's got the Statue of Liberty in the window. And as I was saying in my last video, our New York holiday has been cancelled, but down there there's a Rose and Crown pub which is like Epcot as well so we feel like we're kind of getting a bit of like a Florida and New York vibe-ish. Vibe's not the word. You know what I mean. Um, so yeah we're gonna go in here and have dessert for breakfast because we've been up since six o'clock so it's fully acceptable five hours later. To, well we've been up since five o'clock actually so it's yeah six hours later so it's fully acceptable to just have a dessert in place of a nutritious meal. Okay so our waffles just came so we went for the we both went for the surprise me waffle which is a waffle with a red velvet cookie dough in the center. This is Kinder Buena White's cream, strawberries, marshmallows, yeah the full works basically so nice healthy start to the day. There is, there's definitely at least one of your five a day in those strawberries, like, 100%. Look how cute Waterstones is. It's such a nice building. Um, anyway, we are going next door, we're going to Fennec. This before on my eyebrows, like, they haven't had anything done to them for the whole of the month of August. Um, I basically made them to completely different shapes through lockdown, so I left them alone for a month and 
Now we're going to get a professional to look at them since we can do that again, which is fun. We found the headbands. Look at this one. It's £50, so it's not actually terrible. Obviously, I am on my no buy. But I feel like it's like. It's just so Christmassy. And I am so ready for Christmas. That is lovely. In Phoenix, and they've got advent calendars, and I am that person who is perfectly happy. In fact, perfectly happy is understating it. I am overjoyed when I see Christmas arriving. So yeah, I know loads of you will be like horrified. I am excited to see this. We've come to Bosnes and we've just got our cheesy garlic bread delivered in like a little picnic camper. How cute is that? I'm very into this. I feel like we've done nothing but eat today, yeah. but that aside, it's instead of having a dessert, we decided liquid dessert. Um, so we have both gone for this one, the pink gin punch, which is pink gin, poppy and raspberry liqueur, strawberry syrup, strawberry puree, and apple juice. So they are looking very promising. Cheers. on the train home and I'm trying to make up my mind which of my gingerbread biscuits to eat so I got uh, this is Sarah the dinosaur and this one is Dan the dinosaur so Dan and Sarah and then Warren got Ellen the avocado and we actually worked out Warren was very clever about get this get more biscuit than Alan yes they're all the same price and he's a 75 gram biscuit and these guys are 30 grams. Okay, I've got my so priorities like, firmly in order. Yes, yeah, more biscuit. This, this is arguably slightly less cute, but um, yeah, he's still cute. He's still cute. He's still and cheese. you know, one of him is equal to more than two. Uh -huh. So, challenge your way forward if you're looking for value. Yeah. But these are very cute, and you know how I feel about dinosaurs. Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks, I think, since. Yeah, two, three, two, two or three weeks um, since the start of the vlog. So I kind of realised I sort of ended it without ever properly ending it. We had such a nice day in Newcastle. I really, really liked it. Definitely want to go back. Ideally, I'd quite like to go back before Christmas and see it decorated and things. But with the way things are going, I don't know if that's possible. I think travel restrictions will be potentially coming back into place. My hair is desperately needing wash so please excuse it. I realised I didn't really end it and today I am going into town and um, I'm actually I've broken this thumbnail. This would be a hell of a thumbnail for the video um, but yeah my little thumbnail has broken um, so I'm going into town to get a nail repair. I hoped I would get in a little bit earlier Um I've had one of those days I've been working all day and like up till four o'clock really chill day and then between four and five everybody wanted something but anyway I thought if I'm going into town you know what I'll go in a little bit earlier and I thought I might go and see if John Lewis have got their Christmas department up and running. Luckily because I am that person um, I messaged Lauren last year on the 16th of September with a picture from John Lewis saying the Christmas department has started so I'm hoping that we should be fairly safe to assume that it's up and running by now. I thought from going in I'll go there and check that out and I figured since I talked about Christmas I didn't actually even realise like I filmed that headband and was like it's so Christmassy and then filmed the advent calendars um, and I didn't actually even realise like how much I'd mentioned Christmas in a very short space of time in one shop so I thought let's just give this vlog a Christmassy theme. I did notice like I sound a little bit more muffled in some clips when I was like on the train and whatever when I was wearing my mask so I don't know how I'll sound in the shop but 
let's go have a look. Hey guys, so it's Sunday afternoon and I'm going into town and meeting Lindsay for a Sunday roast which I'm very excited about but I'm also going to try and have another go at John Lewis so when I went in the other night it was shut. I'd forgotten some of the shops are still shutting early because of Covid so even though it was Thursday and it should have been like late night shopping um, not everything was open and John Lewis was shut when I got there so going in a little bit early to meet Lindsay and hopefully gonna get a look at John Lewis Christmas department. Fingers crossed. So we're in the department, it's here. So this is the Bloomsbury tree which I think is my favourite from looking online but it's the first one I've looked at. So it's inspired by the Bloomsbury group obviously and well I'm a massive Virginia Woolf fan girl so it makes sense that this would be my fave. But this is the particular bottle that I've been looking at online. It's like filled with copper and yeah. It's so beautiful. And it's got all the little woodland animals in this one. I like that we didn't do it.
clearly, much later, there is not much makeup left on my face. Um, I am home, I am wearing my pyjamas. Uh, I had a really nice day, actually. I didn't get a Sunday roast, but yeah, I'm presuming it was like a Covid thing where the Sunday roast is like an extra menu and most places are running on a limited menu at the moment, so it was maybe a bit silly to expect them to have the Sunday roast menu on. But I had a burger and I enjoyed it and I had wine, which I really enjoyed. And they had a fire fireplace with twinkly lights in it, which I really liked. And I went to John Lewis, which I just had such a nice time. It's definitely just like the beginning of their Christmas department. Like there's still like wrap and things um, still to come, but exciting times. I did try and talk to you and John Lewis, but I don't know between the mask and probably me talking quietly because it was in public anyway. Um, I don't know if that will have come across or if it will have just been a silent montage with Christmassy music. Um, but either way, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's cheered you up a little bit. It's definitely cheering me up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. I am home. I have got, very excitingly, this which I picked up um, on the way home, which is Terry's Chocolate Orange. Um, it's a bar and it's got cranberry in it. So this is their like Christmas limited edition. So I'm going to have a go at that. And I have got I've got Dinner Ladies on, it's the Christmas episode in season two. So I don't, like, I feel like this must have been on in the house when I was younger, but I don't remember seeing it, um, and it's on Netflix, and I feel like Victoria Wood is, like, such an icon, and I know her name, but I don't feel like I know much of her work, so I've been watching this recently, and I do really, really enjoy it, so, yeah, I don't, I feel like I need to delve into the Victoria Wood catalogue a little bit more because this is definitely just like a really fun easy to watch soap but like it's obviously it's women centric and it's it probably was incredibly groundbreaking in its time and that it's sort of working class women who all work in a canteen they're sort of middle-aged and older and actually do you know what I'm saying groundbreaking its time that's probably still fairly groundbreaking that that's what the central cast of a show should be but yeah I'm really really enjoying it so yeah, if you've got anything linked to this that I'll also enjoy, please put your recommendations down below. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really did. I don't know if it's because I've been watching Vlogmas videos, um, and particularly like older Vlogmas videos that are just very nostalgic for me. Um, you know, back when I started watching YouTube and like, I definitely want like higher quality and higher production value in like main videos these days than I used to obviously want um but I feel like vlogmas was when everyone used to like even if their main videos were shot on like a proper kind of DSLR or whatever people used to take vlogmas like on their phones or whatever um, and it was always just quite cobbled together and quite sort of just low maintenance um but that was what I really liked about it and that's what I kind of hope this vlog could be so yeah like I know it's not not fully what Vlogmas used to, not that it's been a Vlogmas video but you know what I mean um but yeah I've quite enjoyed doing a little vlog and having it be a little bit rough and a little bit casual and yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it so thank you for doing so and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>